that going and what kind of stood out to you? Uh, what stood out was it was way better than yesterday. Uh, I could tell the guys had good juice. Uh, so we tried to get through stuff quickly. Um, quickly without rushing, if that makes sense, because you have to get detail stuff in. Uh, but then uh, we got live three different segments. Um, it was super competitive, and we got the two groups kind of aligned together. So a ton of positives. Uh, Russ was really good today. And it's a good experience for our starters, a guy that gets downhill like that. Defensively, we're going to see guys like that throughout the year. Um, so good experience all the way through. And guys sustain their energy, which sometimes is tough as you're working your way to Yes, preseason games, but OKC down the road. So um, really positive day. What would you say is like a stylistic change for this team based on the personnel or even just the growth from last year compared to last year? Uh, I, he's different with his pace. I think stylistically, you know, you want to add things and be creative, but you also want to remember why you won so much. Uh, so trying to fine tune what you've always been good at is what's most important. And then try things out right now and see if there's wrinkles or things we can add uh, you know, there's multiple things. Can we get Jamal on the post more? Uh, can we use Christian as a ball handler to get Jamal off the ball? Uh, how many more ways can we use Nicola as a, as a lead ball handler? So all those things come into play. Um, so it's a try it out stage right now. Uh, it's not the real thing yet. So stay creative for yourself. Stay creative for the players. Coach, I know we're about to talk to Peyton Watson. Just that sucks. Uh, yeah, I'm just kidding. Poor. Um, where, where has he been at over the course of these last uh, few weeks? I know you said that he practiced yesterday. Just, is it difficult incorporating somebody into what you're doing unless they're getting live reps? It is difficult, and I feel for him, and he's told me how frustrated he is. And it's not just the, the fact he's not playing. It, it's the fact that he wants to compete against his teammates as we're trying to find guys, you know, what kind of minutes they're going to play, where they're at in the rotation. It's, it's unfair to him more so than it's unfair to us. Uh, to decide what he, what his role is going to be, how he fits. Uh, so I know he's dying to get back on the court. Like I said yesterday, those injuries, they're so tedious, and they kind of hang on to you. And he's got to get his confidence back to show some burst, which he did yesterday. Um, so I, I feel for Pate, just like I feel for anybody right now that's part of a rotation around the NBA and it doesn't get the chance to prove uh, how they fit in. Um, so he's frustrated. You guys know Pate. He has such a great personality. You know, he'll, he'll bounce back. You guys had conversations on how you want to handle the final preseason games in terms of do you want to extend the starters? Do you want to get them a game off somewhere along the way? Or any uh, any feel for how you guys are going to handle it? Yeah, we've had, I mean, small conversations. It's kind of a weird schedule uh, because of the Abu Dhabi trip, and now they've moved our Minnesota game up. So you're going that, you know, I believe it's Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, which is really not the way you want to schedule the preseason. Uh, so somewhere in there, we're going to have to give guys a break. Uh, but then the flip side of that is what you said, then we're off even longer to the OKC game, so the main guys have to play. So there's been conversations, I, nothing confirmed. Obviously, when coach gets back, uh, he'll, he'll make the final decision. But we have to be smart, but we also have to be diligent with making sure we're ready to go. Uh, so we'll have those conversations. This may be an unfair question, but like, how do you report back to Malone on a practice like this? Like, What are the top line things you, you would bring to him? Uh, what we did, obviously, is the film. You can watch it. Uh, sometimes when you watch the film, though, you can't really feel how it, what was out here. Uh, so mostly just like how engaged guys were, where they're at. Uh, you know, this is a mental battle, our sport, because it's just every single day. And it goes on and on and on, hopefully, to June. Uh, so, you know, guys, where they're at mentally changes a lot. And, you know, you have to kind of maintenance people throughout. Same with the coaching staff, same with everybody. Uh, so those kind of things, I think, what he's most interested in. Um, but no, he's been good. He's been supportive. Obviously, he had ideas for what we could do in practice today. Uh, we incorporated those, so and we back soon. How hard is it to balance the idea of, hey, this is going to be seven months. We want to pace ourselves versus we also want guys to be mentally tough and fatigue is part of that. Like, how do you balance that this year? I think you have to trust your medical staff. You know, we're all, this is a partnership. And if we take the guys to an extreme and they tell us, hey, it might be time to take it back a step. Uh, you have to do that uh, but this is professional sports and mental fatigue is part of it like you said and you have to make that part of your routine as you go into the season obviously as the year goes on it becomes even tougher so right now those habits that you form in preseason they're going to take you to the end of the year Uh, I think with his team today, when they call timeouts, uh, he is the vocal leader in that group. Uh, we have a lot of young guys in that group, so it's always good to hear a positive voice from somebody that's been around for a long time. 
Um, you know, and then we have that with a lot of our veteran guys, and it's important. You know, the young guys are trying to feel everything out. And, you know, they haven't really developed their leadership voice yet. And I think that's what stands out the most. And then just his overall energy, even in the small things that he does. Doesn't mean he always does everything right, but he's doing them hard. And that's a great example to set for everybody else.